Zoe, this is coconut water. That's coconut water. If someone like me, <laughs> I was able to do a juice cleanse for 100 days and go raw for, it's almost about to be a year now in October. I know you can do it. Hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday. Today, I just, I almost forgot. Today's July 1st. You know what day today is? Today is the day that I decided to start my juice cleanse. Crazy, right? <laughs> I almost forgot. I actually went on my hike today. I'm drinking some coconut water right here. And then I also have some watermelon right here. So I just, uh, I just finished up my hike and it just hit me. I was like, today's July 1st. I was like, something important happened today. <laughs> And it was actually last year. Last year was when I actually decided to, that's Bo right there. See him? That's Bo right there, just chilling. Zoe's over there somewhere. Um, I think she's laying down. But yeah, so I just went on my hike and then I was like, today's July 1st and it hit me. Today's the day that I, watermelon, watermelon, coconut water, coconut water, watermelon. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. I wanted to do something like this in October, right? To commemorate me losing 100 pounds and being able to keep it off for a year. But then I was thinking to myself and I was like, this is just as important. This is when I set out to do something and I actually achieved it. And I actually went above and beyond what I wanted to really do. Cause initially I wanted to do a 60 day juice cleanse. I actually had to go back and rewatch <laughs> my video because I forgot that my initial goal was 60. It's so important to document or to catalog your stuff if you're on a journey like this because you might just forget certain things. You might forget goals that you actually went above and beyond. And this is something that I went above and beyond. But I wanted to come here and uh, just check in and let you guys know that this is possible. This is something that I didn't see myself a year from the point of that video. I was on a journey. I wanted to try and figure things out. I wanted uh, the mental clarity. As I said in that video, I also wanted to drop the weight. I was feeling horrible. I had symptoms. I felt as if I was about to maybe get diabetes or something. I couldn't move, right? I set out to do this, but I didn't really picture myself a year sitting here <laughs> talking to you guys, having achieved that, having gone above and beyond. I'm saying all this to hopefully inspire someone who thinks that this is something that's not possible to let you know that it is. And I'm a testament to that. It's actually pretty incredible what you can do if you set your mind to stuff. And this is just a part of that. This is just like a story that I can always have. And I'm so glad that I documented it because now I can actually go back and see the growth and see what I've been able to do, right? I feel as if sometimes we forget just what we're capable of. And I just wanted I just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know that this is possible, that whatever goals you have for yourself, whatever you want to achieve, whatever you want to do, you can do it. It's hard work. It takes time. It takes dedication. It takes patience, but if you stick to it and if you're consistent, you can do it, okay? I had to go find the same shirt that I wore because I wanted you guys to see the contrast, if there's any contrast, if you guys can tell the difference between the, the two moments between a year ago and now. People DM me questions all the time, and one of the questions that I normally get is, what type of juicer was I using? I was using the Nama J2. I thought that I mentioned that in my, in my 100 pound video reveal, but maybe I didn't. Yeah, so the juicer that I ended up using maybe two weeks into my juice cleanse was the Nama J2 and it's, it's a beast. If you have the means to get it, grab it. It's an investment and it's an investment. As long as you use it, it's gonna work out for you and it's a great investment. But use what you have. Use what you have until maybe you can afford the Nama J2. If you don't have that, I've heard of another juicer called Shine from Tribest, uh, and it's on Amazon. I think it's $180 as opposed to the Nama, which is like maybe $600, right? 
I think the shine is around 180. So that's a better price point. But even if you can't do that, just use a blender, right? It's better to start juicing than not. So to be honest, you don't really even have to juice. I just, it's like you can do smoothies, you can go raw, you can eat more veggies and fruits, right? Just do something to get better. Do something to make yourself healthier. Do something to take control of your life. You don't have to even, because after my juice, I went straight to raw because I wanted to get further control over my eating habits and my cravings, right? But you don't really have to do that. You don't have to go raw. You could just maybe after you do a cleanse, whether it's a juice cleanse or going raw or smoothies, after that, just be better at choosing and picking better produce. Eat more fruits and veggies after that. Be better to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Don't try and go back to what it is that you were doing before, though, because that's probably what got you into the position that you were in to be able to consider doing something like a juice cleanse or a smoothie or going raw. Do incorporate more fruits and veggies in your diet because that all that stuff helps. It helps clean you out. It helps renew you. It helps clean your cells out. It helps you just become a better version of yourself. I'm not trying to come on here and tell you to go raw. No, I do want you to be healthier though. I do want you to live long. I do want you to live long without pain. I want you to live long without needing assistance and help, right? So to be able to do that, you need to take control of your life, right? And why not start today? Well, actually, <laughs> I know a lot of y'all can't start today because guess what's coming up? Fourth of July. I don't know. I know the barbecues are about to hit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, but maybe start after Fourth of July. Just just know yourself. Don't fool yourself into being like, oh, I'm gonna start today, and then Fourth of July hits, and you're just like, oh my god, the barbecue. Maybe start after Fourth of July. I would say if you are serious about it, don't necessarily do one of those super short cleanses, like three or four or five days aim for a month or two because you really want to clean yourself out. You really want to give it a good chance to clean out your palate, to do what it is that you need to do. A month or two in a span of a year is really nothing. If you compare that to how horrible we've been eating for years, it's really nothing. It's just like a drop in a bucket. Zoe, this is coconut water. That's coconut water, okay? And then this is Watermelon. Yeah, I know it's good. It's good. Good stuff, huh? So another question that I get is, what workouts did I do? The workouts that I did, I walked. I walked. That's all I did. I did, I did workouts or exercises that I knew I could do consistently for a really long time. So I walked a lot. And what I did was, as I got better, I increased the incline. I walked on the treadmill. But you can like walk outside. You can go hike, you can do just things that, things that don't take a lot of effort and a lot of energy, right? And things that you know you can do consistently. That's what you want. You wanna be able to keep moving and keep your blood flowing and keep sweating out toxins and anything else that you don't need. Keep that heart rate going. What's up? So I walked and then as I got better, I increased the incline, right? So then I started walking up an incline. And then after that, I also added some weight training. And if you go back into my earlier vlogs, you'll see that I also lifted, right? But I think that happened around two weeks into my cleanse. If you feel as if you can lift weights or you can do more, do more. If you feel as if you can't do anything, then take it easy. But you do want to move. So walking, it doesn't really take that much effort or what you can do is just stand up and sit down stand up sit down keep that blood going keep that blood flowing also i get a lot of questions about juices on a budget this is a great time to start summer right because this is where you start getting some nice fruits and veggies like the sun's out it just feels good i used to hate summers by the way <laughs> but now i kind of like enjoy summer get fruit or veggies that have a lot of water content stick to your melons watermelon, honeydew, cantaloupes. There's also a variety of different melons that I've never tried before that 
I'll probably be buying some to do a taste test with you guys, but yeah, stick to your melons because those are gonna, those are in season right now, which means that it's probably gonna be cheaper or it's probably gonna be your best option. So stick to your melons. You can do oranges, but oranges can sometimes be pricey for the amount of juice that you get, but it'd be tasting so bomb. I'm low key addicted to oranges right now. I just bought some like today. <laughs> do greens on a budget too don't forget your greens greens are important so i'd say for greens cucumber is pretty good celery if you need a little bit more liquid or volume just throw in some spring water or some coconut water so another question i get is what helped me through it i would say that a calendar getting yourself a calendar or being able to track your progress is super important because as the days go on and as you mark these days off you start seeing how many days you've done and then it makes you not want to quit does that make sense? After a week, you're just like, whoa, I was able to do a week. And it makes it harder for you to be like, let me throw away the week that I just did and have to restart over. After I probably marked out like 20 days on the calendar, I was like, whoa, I was able to do 20 days on this. And then it kept me going. It kept pushing me to to want to do better. It kept pushing me to not want to quit. Writing notes to yourself, like, if you hear of any motivational quote or if you're watching something and something clicks or something that you think can help you out, write it down. I used to write things on my calendar all the time, things that I could look at and be like, okay, I got to keep going because this is something that's going to help me and I got to do this. I got to do this for myself. So pay attention to quotes or if you're reading something, pay attention to things that touch you, right? and write them down somewhere so that you can always go back and look at it. Also, surround yourself with health content, meaning watch channels on YouTube that talk about health, that talk about betterment, that talk about wellness, that clue you into another way of being. Don't just keep watching the same things that you've been watching. Try something else. Try something that encourages you, that opens you up to accepting new things, to wanting to do better for yourself. So those are basically the questions that I typically get, but I will be doing another video in October when it's officially a whole year since I dropped 100 pounds and I really can't wait for them. So excited, I'm super excited for October to come. That's probably gonna be the longest that I've ever kept my weight checked or maintained for an extended period of time and not yo-yoing. So that's gonna be really exciting to get to October. I wanted to pop in here to let y'all know that you guys can do it too. If I can do it and I was able to do this and I've even gone above and beyond and delved into raw life, which I wasn't thinking about going raw after my cleanse. I was thinking I was gonna go healthier, but I was gonna go back to the way that I was eating. If someone like me, <laughs> I was able to do a juice cleanse for 100 days and go raw for, it's almost about to be a year now in October, I know you can do it, okay? I just wanted to come in here to show you guys that you guys can do it too. And for you guys to be able to compare where I'm at right now compared to a year ago, exactly a year ago, I hope you guys can see the difference. I hope you guys are inspired. I hope you guys are motivated. I hope you guys start today or start on the 5th because I know 4th of July is coming. That barbecue is probably about to hit. <laughs> So don't fool yourself. Take action today or very soon and just be consistent with it. Just go along with it, okay? I believe in you and I know that you can do it too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know that it's been a year since I decided to do my juice cleanse, July 1st. Wow. So I hope you guys are having an amazing Saturday. And I'm about to edit this video and hopefully I can get this video to you today because that's the goal. That's the whole reason why I just decided to hop in here really super, super quickly to do this video because I wanted to get it out to you guys today, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon.